To me, this record worked out exactly the way I was hoping it would. Julie Crossy here from Beacon Street. Julie is a rock. She is the oh, person. So. Julie's balanced. Julie's the whole package and she's balanced. Julie's the fun girl and she's very good music. She knows her stuff. She's got eight yeah. musical talent oh, and no. I think experience from being out on stage and doing all stuff already. She's like the whole package, I think. She's right. got an amazing look. She's got a great voice. She's very skeptical she's going to get put in a band that isn't a real band. She just kept getting better and better and better. So I'm in a lot of trouble. Tell me about it. I grew up in Montreal and uh, we're here to record the album, so this is actually really nice to be home. Counting Dreams is one of the songs on the album and it's a very personal one and I find that this album tells the stories of the past two years for me. Like there's a lot of things that I've done over the past two years, like we, we had a a baby, a beautiful little boy. Um, we renovated a house from top to bottom. We did all kinds of things that I wanted to do for the longest time. Just didn't know how I was going to do it. And this album is one of those things. It's just been something I've wanted to do for 10 years. It's been sitting in the back of my mind, but I could never figure out how I was going to do it or whether it'd be marketable or, you know, all these rational things that come into play when I make decisions that have completely changed over the past two years. I just decided that this is something I want to do and I'm going to figure out how to do it and we just started it and then somehow Tim came in the picture who is my producer has been fantastic helping me accomplish this this dream. It's really I feel like I'm counting all my dreams and and I'm just tackling them one at a time. If you never do the work It won't mean nothing If you never feel the hurt Cause I think it's not if These songs have to really tell my story I've been loving you, my dear We wanted to record everything live off the floor the way they used to do it back in the 60s and the 70s and that takes a really special kind of person to be able to direct the musicians and set up the microphones and, and just get the best sound out of that moment because you're really capturing a moment. This is like a dream record for me. You know a lot of times you plan, like you, you hope for the best, you plan for the worst and you know you try and be as ready as you can but then there's always things that fall through the cracks and to me this is something that we've been, Tim and I have been preparing for a year and you know, we recorded the whole thing with the band in three days, the strings in two days. I mean, in five days, the whole thing was done. So there was really no room for a, a lot of error. But amidst all of that, there's such a great vibe. You know, my family was here. My little one-year-old son was running around in all these wires and inter interacting. And it just, to me, it was like a complete, full, great experience. Of, of making music like the way it should be. It's great. I've been giving you my heart and everything I've got. I've been loving you. Everything that goes along with this record is meant to be very simple. And sometimes the simplest things are the hardest things to do because you can't lie, you can't fake it, you can't add too much to it because the truth is just simple and that that is what's driven the entire creativity behind this process even down to the musicians down to the artwork the musicians they needed to have an incredible amount of restraint because you know with the piano it's like the part is is That's what I want to hear. It's not. You know, I, it, everything had to be so simple just so that there's nothing in the way of the story. There's nothing in the way of the vocals. There's nothing stopping the simplicity behind the music. Back in 
carry you. I got into music when I was very young. I played classical piano. I think I started at about six years old, and I played trumpet in high school on the concert band, and I danced. So there's always music around in my life. I feel like I started when I was very young, and I, I don't remember it ever stopping. You know, although I grew up in the 80s, I feel like the music I really gravitated to was when I heard things like Aretha Franklin and the Commodores and Cat Stevens. My dad had a had a crate in the basement with all of his vinyls, and when I discovered how to play the vinyl, that was a really cool thing for me. So I'd go downstairs and play some vinyls and sit in the old beanbag and and just discover music that way. Uh, it's only later that I, I, I pinpointed it was soul music. I know this might sound silly, but I just wasn't surrounded with that much of it and, and no name was ever put on it until I reached CJEP, which is kind of, which is college. And from there I, I discovered more stuff like Sam Cooke and, and Bill Withers and Roberta Flack and these became the real pillars of the music that really is interesting to me and, and really touches my heart. Then I am 